color legends exist for both categoric coloring and numeric coloring. To add a color legend, I double click and I go to control to select the color legend dashboard part. This surface is a bit big, so I'm making that smaller. The first thing I need to do is say which part this legend should be linked to. So I'm selecting the horizontal bar graph one and I can see how my different industries show up here with their color and a label for each. And it says legend for all colors or just industry. This means that if I have multiple options right here, then this legend will reflect as I change the options here in the control dropdown. The orientation here is vertical and I can change that to horizontal, which obviously makes it more suitable to assign a more of a horizontal space for the legend. So it could look something like this. It could be fitting if I'm actually using more or less this kind of width for my visualization as well. There we go. For the visualization below, I have a numeric color variable. Similarly, I double click to introduce a new area on the canvas that I want to use for a dashboard part. I go to control and I click color legend and I need to associate it with the second bar graph and automatically since that visualization is using a numeric variable for color that's also the kind of legend that I get here. Orientation vertical or horizontal does not have an effect for this one. I might want to change the alignment and move the color legend to some place right below like this. With this slider setting here I can accentuate the color to less or more. And that is a setting that I can control here. I can enable or disable user interaction. For a categoric color legend, I can also enable filtering, which means that each little box becomes a filter box as well, which allows me to unselect items by unchecking that color box. To reset everything, I press this one.